Next, I am going to explain how to schedule BTO, Build to Order, production. Here, we have one to one production of A and AX items. Switch the Auto Replenish flag of A to Yes and set 1000 as production lot size min max. By doing this, we have changed the production of A to make to stock production. The production of AX remains as normal production for sales. Switch to the order table and press reschedule. These three production orders were created automatically. The order quantities of AX are 300 and 500. It is replenished for each sales order of AX. The production order quantity of A is 1000. It is because we produce them for the manufacturing order of AX and have specified 1000 as the lot size. Let's take a closer look at the schedule result in Resource Gantt chart. The sales order quantity is 300, and the manufacturing order quantity of AX is 300. This 300 production is for the sales order, and this blue work bar is making 1000 A. We can also input the current inventory of A. Input inventory A as order code. and select Inventory Absolute as order type. Set A as item, October 10th as due date, and 400 as order quantity. Reschedule again. Let's look at the result in the Resource Gantt chart. The manufacturing order of AX is now replenished from inventory. We can see that 300 items are supplied to the manufacturing order of AX from inventory A. It is 400 at the beginning then drops to 100 and replenishes to 1000. Finally, it becomes 600.